Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am doing spring slash summer picnic outfit ideas and like I got this idea for this video because I like spend so much time on Pinterest, maybe like too much time, and they keep showing me pictures of these really aesthetically pleasing picnics and I just like really had the urge to like recreate one and I needed a reason to. So I decided to come up with picnic outfit ideas. So yeah, the, let's just get right into it. So the first outfit I decided to do was, just, it's very like, I feel like classic spring outfit. It has the florals, has plaid, has pastels. It kind of has everything that like you're looking for in a springtime outfit. So first we have this really pretty light purple floral crop top. I love the cut of it. Like it's not, I guess it's like a asymmetrical hem. I don't know how to describe it. It's a faux tie front and it's a really cute just little crop top. And then I paired it with these really pretty light yellow slim fit gingham pants. And then to top it off, I just threw on this really lightweight, really pretty open knit like crochet style jacket in white. I think all, all everything together pairs beautifully. I just paired it with these really pretty black and white gingham like pointed toe flats with a bow on it. I just love like the gingham and the shoes kind of goes with the gingham and the pants but yeah they're two different colors but it kind of ties everything together because in the black and then the black and the crop top it's just a full circle moment and we love to see it. Okay, so there's that outfit, and of course you can wear it without the sweater, and it still looks super cute as well. Okay, and then the next outfit I put together is more of like, I feel like this is a very like transitional sum, spring to summer outfit, because you kind of have like the light colors of spring, but you also have like the like lack of clothes as the summer element. So it is just this really pretty white, well not really pretty, it's really basic, this really basic white ribbed tank top. It's super fitted, which I love. I'm looking for something like this, actually a really cropped version, like almost like a bralette version, but I haven't been able to find it yet. It went well with these um, nice pastel, like really like light pink, light beige, plaid, high rise midi shorts. So I'm really happy that these mid length shorts are coming back into style. The next one I put together, I am so excited about this sweater. I found it recently at the thrift store and it gave me really like Love Shack fancy vibes. It's this really pretty like white and purple striped, but it's not just like regular stripes. They're like very textured striped, has a bit of like a puff shoulder and it's like this beautiful sweater. If you don't know what Love Shack fancy is, it's just a super expensive brand. They're actually, they make a lot of chunky knit sweaters, which are really in this season. And, um, but they cost like a couple hundred dollars. They are so like, outrageously priced for this just like basic brand although they have like beautiful clothes so when I found this vintage sweater that just gave me really great Love Shack fancy vibes I was really excited and then I just paired it with these really pretty light blue denim shorts these are one of the first items I ever thrifted and they're starting to like have too much wear to the point I can't wear them so I really need to find another pair they're by Paxton they're called the mom short and they have like this really cool patch denim on it so um, if you know if any selling them on Poshmark, Depop, eBay, let me know in the comments because I really need to buy another pair of these. The next outfit that we have is this bright like kind of ensemble. It is this red multicolor floral button-down shirt with these really bright well, not really bright, but they're very like true yellow high-rise shorts. And I love the pleat front on them with the button details. I think that's absolutely gorgeous. And then I just decided, I was debating how I was gonna wear the button-up shirt. I love, by the way, that these button-up shirts are becoming a trend, and I'm gonna talk about that a little bit later. But there's just so many ways that you can wear them. I was first gonna tie it up and kind of do like a tied-up look, but at the end, I decided to tuck it in and then kind of like poof it out, poof it over the high-rise shorts. And I think that was absolutely stunning. I love the the way that looks. I love the way the silhouette worked with that. For the next outfit, I kind of like combined my first three outfits as I was like changing my outfits and throwing them all on the floor. I was like, oh wait, no, that could be cute. So I decided to take the white ribbed tank top and tuck it into the um, pack sun shorts that I love. My really pretty uh, jean shorts with this really, uh, with that anthropology button down layered over it, kind of open front. This is like super on trend right now to have the um, button down shirts like open with either like a crop top, a bralette, or a tank top underneath. I am obsessed with the way this outfit came out. I honestly might just wear this outfit tomorrow when I go out and do my errands because it is so cute. 
All right, the next outfit I put together was a dress, which I was debating on putting this in here because it's kind of a shorter dress and I don't know, I don't think like short dresses are necessarily picnic friendly because you know, you don't want to like show the world everything you have. So, um, but this one had a look, was really flowy so when I sat down, I didn't feel like overly exposed in it, but it was really pretty like white and blue floral dress. This dress is honestly to die for. I got this at Goodwill. It's American Eagle. Um, I think I paid like $10 for it, which is so like much for American Eagle, right? Like I would never normally pay $10 for used American Eagle, but this dress is just something that fits so well. It's something that I knew I was going to wear all the time, so I decided to buy it. And then I paired it with these really um, stunning black gladiator sandals from Stuart Weitzman. I love, I got these at the consignment store and I, I think these are probably my favorite shoes that I own and every time I wear them out I get compliments on it. I don't think like gladiator sandals are necessarily like in style right now but like I just love them and I am never going to get rid of them no matter like if they're in style or not. The next outfit that we have is this, uh, this is like kind of like, I guess like my country farmer girl look, if you could call it that. It's just a really pretty um, overalls. I think they're from Aeropostale and I paired it with this green floral tube top, which is from Shein or Shein, however you pronounce it. Um, this is the first time I ever owned a Shein item. I got it at the thrift store. Actually, it was an um, off the shoulder one. So like it had like shoulder things on it, but one was missing. So I just cut the other one off and made it a tube top. And I don't know, it doesn't fit me perfectly. I think it might be a little too big for me. But I thought, regardless, it would just be really cute for the outfit. I thought it looked really cute over the overalls. I was debating on whether I was going to do like the full overalls or just kind of leave one half undone. But I think, honestly, I tried it both ways and it looks so much better half undone. It looks a little more carefree. And I feel like when you have the overalls completely like done, it's too farmer girl. The next outfit I put together actually features like my first retail item. And that is as absolutely gorgeous, stunning. It looks like a piece of art. Anthropology maxi skirt. I don't even know what kind of like pattern you call this. It's like a mix of cheetah, or not cheetah, but like leopard and like butterfly and some abstract prints. And it's like yellow and pink. It's absolutely stunning. And I paired this with just a plain beige crop top. Actually, no, this this the whole outfit is actually retail. I got the crop top though when I was in high school and I'm like graduated from college now. So that shows you how long I've owned that. And then the anthropology skirt, I got it for my birthday last year I decided to splurge and like treat myself I got this skirt it was such an amazing deal I think it originally retailed for like over a hundred dollars like maybe 150 maybe 180 I don't necessarily remember but I do remember it was like some crazy clearance sale anthropology was having and I ended up getting it for a hundred and not hundred I got the, I would never spend a hundred on this skirt. I bought it for a thirty five dollars so I got over a hundred dollars off in discount which is just absolutely amazing and yeah I absolutely love that skirt and I thought it would just be such a fun addition to this, this like picnic vibe because I love the butterflies for spring and it's just very flowy and fun so like I didn't want to wear any short skirts again kind of like the dress you don't want to like show everything if you're like going to be sitting down a lot but because it's a maxi skirt it's like very like full coverage when you're sitting. The next outfit that I put on was this really um, I don't know, I keep saying beautiful and stunning, but I just, I don't know, I need to learn new adjectives. It's this really pretty brown jumpsuit. It's just kind of like this Hawaiian tropical floral print. Okay, this is one that I featured in my closet clear out video, link up below. And this jumpsuit I got at the Goodwill Bins. It's a thrift store where you pay for clothes by the pound and I did research on the label and it came from the 1960s. So this is like literally like a piece of history to me. This is like something a true flower child probably wore and that just makes me so incredibly happy and it fits me so well. I love wearing this and I had to include it in this video because I think it is like the perfect picnic outfit. And then the last outfit that I put together is just kind of something I wear on like a daily basis. This is kind of like my favorite kind of go-to outfit and it's usually like a pretty skirt or like any pretty pants or whatever with a tied up graphic tee. So for this I chose um, 
this faithful the brand skirt which this is like a really i love their clothes and again it's just like one of those really expensive companies for like something i don't know i don't know it's not necessarily worth the price especially the quality of it but i did get this skirt on consignment and then i paired it with this really like summer vibes graphic tee and of course i had to tie it up because how else do you wear a graphic tee but tied up i thought the combination was absolutely stunning together so i hope you guys enjoyed this video um make sure to subscribe down below for more fashion content and thrifting content and hit the like button and comment down below what your favorite outfit was and i will see you guys in the next one